now observe the operations of an automated plant, performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Babilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Patrov is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now what am I supposed to do about it? For your safety, what the? please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory of the Robin facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh! What the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now on Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit?
that's killing me. Ugh. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergei, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective's central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me. Alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section off out. Avoid contact with robots and security system surveillance center. Refrain from shouting, making loud noises, or talking aloud. Your life is in danger. Complete. Holy shit! Hey, Glove. Yes, Major? Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Come on! Anybody! Hey, you! I I'm coming! Breathe. You alive in there? Shit! Uh, get away from me! Looking at, almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Yeah, oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. 
You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! No good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold them off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way! Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! Goddamn clusterfuck. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right.
Machines rose from the ashes. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. <clears throat> They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shingo, why didn't you tell me that before? Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first part really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. hurt to collect other resources you find along the way major may I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment it utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and- You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Uh, but we aren't allowed to let you through, comrade. Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. 
Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? Go ahead. That's what I thought. This is Is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work, and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Koltsov some tea. I'll be with you in a second, okay? Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. The CD 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic pole. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pole.
machines rose from the ashes. I give you some advice. I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shit on a shingle. Why didn't you tell me that before? It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack? for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. 
That includes the interceptor. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I gonna do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP-generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with... Something's wrong. Oh, shit! Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps, 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 forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. <clears throat> so what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! Where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock-picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light... <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Ты тёл 
A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? For I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real 